Good afternoon, Ukrainians. We continue our traditional briefings on the methods of disinformation, fakes and propaganda used by the aggressor state during its military invasion of Ukraine. And today we will talk about a typical example of manipulation of the public opinion in the West. After the whole world saw who is the aggressor, who attacked peaceful Ukraine and who kills peaceful citizens of Ukraine, destroys maternity homes, schools, shopping centers, residential buildings. Everyone understood that it was Russia. After that, Russia began to use tactics to move from the image of the aggressor to the image of the victim. Realizing that this is impossible to do in a story with Ukraine, they tried to capture public opinion in the West, using typical fakes and propaganda as they do in their domestic Russian market. And in recent days, in the German information space, and Germany is a key EU state, in recent days they have launched a fake story, a lie that a Russian-speaking boy was allegedly killed on German territory and it was done by Ukrainians. The fake itself begins with a chain on one of the immigrant channels in Telegram, where a woman appeared who had mixed Russian and German languages, given the disturbing message. I want to tell you about a boy. It is a tragedy. In the town of Euskirchen, near Cologne, a crowd of Ukrainians beat a boy to a half of death at the railway station. He was taken to the intensive care unit. He was in coma. The Ukrainians were just taken home, where they live. Nothing has been done yet. And then, today, my friend wrote that the guy died. He was 16 years old. I can't imagine the grief of his mother, and so on. This is a throw-in made on behalf of the unverified source of information, not the official person, but just a witness, an eyewitness telling the legend of the crucified boy, but in a new reincarnation, and now it is in Germany. And then this fake story goes to the official internet resources and websites and begins to circulate in the information space in both Russian and German. This is followed by an official statement from the German police, in particular the city of Bonn, which is responsible for the Euskirchen Heavy Crimes Department. Just think what cynism and what lies the reports of the official police state. Now a video is circulating on the internet, reporting an attack on a 16-year-old young man in the Euskirchen area, allegedly beaten to death by a group of Ukrainians. The Bonn police, who are responsible for serious crimes in the Euskirchen area, have no information about such violent attacks or even a death. The Bonn police guards have launched an investigation, and the experts are now suggesting that this is a deliberately fake video in intended to incite hatred. We ask you not to distribute this video anymore and to check all information, especially on social media, very carefully for its authenticity. This is not the first time that the Russian propaganda has attempted to win the sympathy of the Western public and political thought. Let us recall the last weekend they launched a fake allegation that Ukrainians were involved in the arson of the Lomonosov International School in Berlin, where a bottle of incendiary mixture was thrown into a gym. No evidence of Ukraine's involvement in this crime was found either, but evidence is not important for manipulating the public opinion. You just have to lie, lie and then lie again, as it happened before and as it happens now, with a new crucified boy fake coming from the suburbs of Bonn. Let's go further. Another example of the use of propaganda tricks is the technology of reflection that we already know. In other words, Ukraine is just exposing Russia for crimes against humanity, genocide, killing civilians, bombarding maternity hospitals, theaters and massacres. And then they start to broadcast this and accuse Ukrainians, but without any evidence. In particular, they blame in particular, they blame the allegedly Ukrainian neo-Nazis of destroying the swimming pool in Mariupol, killing many civilians. They do it without any official sources. Propagandists refer to the words of an alleged refugee who witnessed the events. I repeat, one should not believe Russian propaganda. Official sources of information must be trusted, and Russian propagandists often replace even the so-called officials of their quasi-formations of LPR and DPR. 
They referred, in particular, to some of the participants of the territorial defense of Donetsk in their recent materials. Another example of reflection, after the mass actions around the world in support of Ukraine and against the war waged by Russia, they tried to manipulate public opinion on the territory of their state and show that Russia is not alone, that there are at least a few states around the world that are in solidarity with Russia. And for this they make small actions on the camera and then use the same reflection technology. Over the weekend the Russians held a few rallies in Beirut, Lebanon and Athens. And of course the actions were allegedly interrupted by groups of Ukrainian militians who pictured neo-Nazi symbols on the monuments. In Greece, this is complete nonsense. But we understand that propagandists are not interested in this. The main thing for them is to repeat the same narrative from day to day. Well, another intrusion made by Russian propagandists allegedly about the intention of the Ukrainian regiment Azov to commit terrorist attacks in Lviv. This attack is supposed to be directed against the diplomats from the United States and other countries, and then represented as an attack by Russia. This technology of propaganda is called the false flag operation. This is also done in order to accuse Ukraine and absolve itself from responsibility for their crimes. Dear Ukrainians and our international partners, in this storm information space filled with propaganda, it is very important to keep your mind calm. Remain critical and do not give away to emotion. To analyze the primary sources and trust the Ukrainian armed forces and the Ukrainian political leadership, and all will be well.